Hey, what's up, guys? It's Joel Benavides with the Block Squawk Podcast. This is the 1st of June, uh, 1235 a.m. Central Standard Time, and the Universal Clock reads 535. Um, and uh, this is going to be the first in a series of 50 episodes uh, that we're doing. This is uh, Block Squawk number 51. Uh, so we're going to ride this up to uh, the 100. And uh, I'm going to be trying putting it out on the daily. It may not always work. Uh, but for the most part, I think that's how it's going to be uh, playing out over the next few weeks. This is me. I'm Joel Benavides. You can reach out to me uh, on Twitter. Uh, down there at the bottom of the screen, you can see it's at Joel Benavides. Or if you want to email me, I'm joel.benavides at gmail.com. Um, and so um, in the previous episodes, I just kind of did a homogenous uh, type episode where I kind of ran through the whole thing. Uh, but I'm going to be splitting it up into three separate segments so that we can kind of um, provide information, uh, simple information to people who are just looking for like price action and uh, like a 38,000 foot view of the market. And then we'll have other segments where we get more technical, but this is snapshots. So we're just gonna take a quick snapshot of the market and see how that plays out. Let's take a quick look at the heat map right now, guys, moving into it. Um, as you can see, uh, Bitcoin's up 4% over the last 24 hours. Uh, this figure is, of course, always trading. Uh, ETH and XRP are both uh, up uh, at uh, over 6 and over 5% respectively. Uh, Bitcoin Cash at 5.82%. And EOS is the standout, guys. EOS is up 15.5% uh, over the last 24 hours. And so um, that's where, where the heat map lies. I get the heat map from Coin360.io. And, um, and that's going to do it for the heat map. Um, I'm not going to say that I'm going to take a look at the EOS chart because I've done that in the past and I'm really bad about following up on some of that stuff. So what we'll do um, is we'll just skip over that and uh, take a look at the, at the chart. And we're looking at a line chart here, guys. Basically, if uh, if you're consuming snapshots, it means that you just kind of want uh, a daily digest of uh, of price activity. So, um, if if you want to get into like news and stuff, you can check out Block Squad slash uh, Block Talk. Or if you want to get more technical, I'm also going to be doing a segment called uh, Technically Speaking. So. Uh, as it stands right now, guys, uh, we're looking at the five minute chart. We can see that we've been in an uptrend for most of the day. Uh, and uh, we've ridden it from about 81.40 on up to 85.61. Um, a couple of interesting things on the hourly, the four hour, the daily. You can see right here that we, uh, a couple of days ago on the 26th of May, we had a sharp uh, jump up from 80.40. Uh, to about 88.20. Uh, and, uh, and then we started consolidating in this downward trend. That, guys, is what we usually call uh, uh, like a bullish pattern. It's a, a bull flag, depending on how you want to draw it, interpret it. But it usually means that there's going to be a continuation of, of uh, uh, upward price movement, um, especially when that happens in an upward trend, which is what we're looking at. Um, so I was anticipating that and that did not occur. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people were because uh, there was some chatter on Twitter about it. Uh, we did jump up, but this is what we call a fake out or in Bitcoin circles, the Judas candle. And uh, I learned that. Uh, and so basically a fake out. We jumped up halfway from where we were supposed to end up because usually this jump, uh, based on where you measure it from, the secondary jump, uh, the target is usually based on the um, initial jump in price. So you kind of make comparisons in, in percentage and, and price points, and, and that's how you set your target. So that's what I was expecting, and it didn't occur. So um, got stopped out, but that's okay. We ended up here at the bottom of the trend channel. In the future, I'll just have to either adjust my stop or whatever but that's i'm already getting way too technical guys if you want to check that out uh we'll be doing that here in a few minutes on technically speaking um that's it right now guys uh bitcoin rests at 85 14 and 40 and uh and like i said we're in an upward 
uh, trend over the last uh, few hours with a little bit of a retracement going on. Um, uh, and we have been in an upward trend for a while. Extremely bullish, uh, but I am worried about uh, all this coming to a head, guys. And I'm particularly concerned about, I guess the next uh, level of resistance would be at uh, 93.93 and 90 cents. You know, so around there. So uh, if we end up reaching that level, uh, close to close to 9,400, uh, I'm gonna start being concerned. There may be a pullback around that area, around 9,400, uh, maybe shy of 9,400. Uh, but there may be a little bit of gas uh, left in the tank after that, but I would definitely be concerned about 98.61. Uh, and of course the psychological level just just above that 10k so we we may reach that I'm not sure we're gonna break it um, we uh, I don't know it's just uh, we've been in an uptrend long enough and I think for healthy growth every now and then we need those uh, those retracements those market pullbacks and so I think that's kind of what we're looking at over the next week um, but um, as you saw at the beginning of the podcast and stream at the bottom uh, there nothing in this podcast is to be uh, interpreted as uh, trading advice financial advice tax advice etc uh, strictly for informational and educational purposes and so uh, that's going to do it for us guys for uh, this portion of the podcast uh, if you have any uh, questions comments concerns again reach out to me on twitter and we'll see you guys soon Stick around though, uh, we'll be on for a, a few more minutes doing the other segments of the, of the stream and podcast. All right, cheers.